mega crisis in Syria and Iraq became the worst humanitarian uh, situation since the Second World War. It's a, a catastrophic situation. People said, well, we are doomed here. And so uh, uh, the movement uh, uh, into uh, Europe accelerated. I remember talking to the refugees in the beginning. They were saying, well, soon we'll go back home. We are sure we'll go back home. And then slowly, slowly, this hope uh, has been banished. We just couldn't stay in Sudan. We can't stay in Sudan. In Italy, we thought this is the end, okay? We can't go to France, and this is how Europe is freedom, and it's all no borders. There is no way to move. How old? what needs to be done here. Huh? It's not rocket science. Here we're talking for elementary, basic living conditions for these people. And there's nothing here in place. Huh? There's no provision of uh, water, there is no shelter, no living conditions, no toilets. In fact, there is nothing. When you talk to some of these refugees, when you ask them questions, they end up asking you as many questions as you're asking them because they don't have any idea where they're going really or what they're going to do when they get there. New rules in the wake of the Paris attacks. Serbia, Macedonia, Croatia, and Slovenia announced they will turn back economic migrants. Gruesome demonstration in response, sewing their lips together in protest. I think many decision makers in the world refuse to see the reality that is coming until that reality enters their doors. If this goes on, everybody will be suffering.